Hi, and thank you for watching. On today's show, we're going to talk to you about the most popular Pioneer radio, the one that has all the features that you could ever possibly want, the 4200 NEX. So stay tuned. All right, let's open it up and take a look inside and see what comes in the box. Yeah. Well, just take, take your time, man. Come on. Let's speed this up. These people don't have all night. Really? Yeah. They love us. Yeah, whatever. Comes with the remote control. Comes with a bag of screws. With a zip tie. With a zip tie. Comes with a four foot, uh, one USB extension. Buy a second. Uh, comes with the new blue bagged Bluetooth microphone. You have the power plug. You have the instruction manual. Wow, they actually give you a full instruction manual. One of those little crappy CDs. Ah, cool. Hey! Oh, you get the neoprene case because this is a detachable face. Woo. You should say. All right, we're gonna show you the back. Rear audio output that goes in tandem with the rear video output. These two guys here are for the dual zone video output capability. That way if you have a little kitty and you want to put in some headrests or an overhead, you can feed the DVD signal out to the overhead. You have USB 1, which is for Apple CarPlay. You have USB 2, which is for Android Auto. Buried way back up in here is your HDMI input for screen sharing from your phone. I will tell you this before you ask, you cannot screen share your phone out to the video output. It will not do that. HDMI will not come out of an RC output in this unit. You have the brown right here, which is for your backup camera. You have the white and red, which is for subwoofer output. You have the Pioneer dedicated plug. You have your Maestro iDatalink or iDatalink Maestro input. You have your Sirius XM input, which is for the SXV300 tuner. You have your power plug input. You have your external steering wheel control input here so that you can add your factory steering wheel control back into the radio. You have auxiliary input right here. Notice these two are the same size inputs, so be careful. Don't plug the wrong one in. You have your antenna input. Your Bluetooth microphone gets plugged in right here. And you have all these cables here. What do they do? So first thing you have your white, which is your front video, I'm sorry, your front audio output. You have green, which is your rear audio output. You have gray, which is an audio input, as well as yellow, which is also an audio input. This audio input can also be used for a front facing camera. All right, so when you get your unit, the first thing you're going to want to do it, when it powers up is pick a language. Go ahead and pick one and move on to your next thing. That's going to be smartphone setup. From here, you can tell it what type of phone you want to use. Now, keep in mind, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay will automatically switch internally. You don't have to do this anymore, unlike last year where you had to. So if you, you, know, if, if you didn't set this up, I wouldn't lose too much sleep over it. It's not really going to affect anything. So go ahead and click Next. Now you're gonna to get to the dreaded OK screen. The nice thing about this year's model is after seven seconds, it automatically disappears. Boom, it's gone. Now, the one feature about the 4200 that, that makes the 4200 unique, it's the ability to have a detachable face. So come over here and hit eject. Click this center one here. It's gonna motorize part way down. Put your thumb in the middle. There's a little micro switch here. This little switch right here. Just rockers over to the that direction okay and the face comes off so now you're left with this to put it back on you see these top two go ahead and top and click now a couple things to note about the screen it's a 800 by 480 pixel screen so if you're gonna make your own background for it that's the size you want to make it it's 7 inch do not ask next time click that as I was saying, it's seven inches. It's a clear resistive WVGA LED backlit screen. Now, since we mentioned making your own background for it, let's check out the backgrounds it does come with. Go ahead and click gears. Come over here to the art palette. Click backgrounds. 
So this unit has five static images that you can choose from, as well as three motion. And if you don't like any of those, you can turn it off right here, or these two gray boxes here are for your image. Once you pick the one you like, go ahead and click apply. Next, you get illumination. Illumination is for the buttons across the bottom. You can pick a color, you can make your own color, or you can just have it on rainbow. which is this, where it's just going to scan through all the colors for you. Then you have themes. Themes are the background. So you have a purplish color, a red, an orange, a green, and a gray-blue. So obviously you're going to want to listen to some sources with this. So we'll go ahead and hit the home key. The home key is going to take you to here. This is your main menu. This is where you're going to access your apps, which would be Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. You can call from here, and you can get to your sources. Now this guy has HD radio. So let's take a look at HD radio. So HD radio, if you go to a one of your radio stations, it's going to make it sound crisper and cleaner and uh, better than it has in the past. You'll notice over here it says HD. This is eventually going to switch over to digital. Once it switches to digital, you'll notice it says HD1 right here. Go ahead and tap that. And it's going to bring a whole new station that you didn't have before up for you. And you can make it a preset. Now when you're on a regular FM station and you go back to the HD, it's going to say linking. And then it's going to switch over to the HD2 channel. The next source up on the list is CD DVD, which this will play CDs or DVDs, and they go here. CD DVD goes here, as well as your SD card goes there down here. And this will play an SD card. It also has the two USB inputs like we showed you. USB 1 is for Apple, USB 2 is for Android. It has the HDMI input. For screen sharing, this is ability to do Sirius XM. Obviously, we talked about the SD. You have auxiliary. You have your AV input, and you have your rear seat. The reason why the rear seat is there is this is for your dual zone video output capability. This allows you to, like we said, play the DVD on a rear screen, or possibly movies on an SD card, out to the back seat, and you listen to something totally different. It's very nice. Car source and car feature. If you're using the iDatalink uh, Maestro, these will be highlighted. If not, they're not going to do anything. We'll come back to the camera in a second. You have source off and power off. Source off just puts the unit to like sleep. Uh, this allows you to still get Bluetooth phone calls and use Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. If you select power off, yes. This is going to shut the radio off altogether. This is great if you have a power antenna and you want it to go down for like a car wash. To turn the radio back on, simply click the button and it'll automatically power back up. Now we mentioned the camera. So if we come over here to tools, select camera. Here you can turn the camera on and off. You can also turn on the second camera. So this would be your front facing camera. If you come down here, you have parking guidelines. You can go ahead and these are the cool little lines. You can adjust these anywhere you want. So if you're getting a camera for one of these, make sure you get one that does not have guidelines and or has the ability to turn the guidelines off. Now we'll X out of here and we'll go back to that main menu. And now camera is going to be highlighted. We can select the camera and this will give you the ability to turn the camera on while you're driving down the road. And you'll notice over here it says one and two. So you can switch between the two. So you can have camera up while you're driving and see what's going on in front of you or switch it and have camera two up. You have two icons, an X and a timer. If you hit the timer, this allows you to go into the radio and do something. And then 10 seconds after the last time you touch something, it's going to go ahead and flip back to the camera. When you're done playing with it, you can go ahead and click X and it'll just go away forever. Even though this has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, you might not want to use that. You might want to use this other feature, which is Bluetooth. That's right. This has Bluetooth calling as well as Bluetooth streaming music, which is great if you don't want to plug your phone in. 
So let's take a look at that and see how it works. Okay, so you have your phone paired over Bluetooth. Go ahead and come over here, and you'll know it's paired over Bluetooth if the little blue Bluetooth icon is lit up. So go ahead and tap phone. It's going to pull up your contacts. You can scroll through them, or you can come over here and you can go through them really fast. You can check out your ingoing, outgoing, or missed. You can also pull up the old school T9, so you can dial. Someone's actually telling you a number. If you press this icon here, this is going to launch Siri Eyes Free and or whatever the Google equivalent is. And you can ask it to do all things like make calls, co uh, make a call, do text messaging, read you back an email if you want. Um, she'll do it. Um, now, what makes this Bluetooth really nice, all right, so Pioneer uses what's called wideband speech recognition, which basically they consider it as if Bluetooth used to be sound like AM, this sounds like FM. So you have a much more pleasant experience when talking to someone on the phone via the wireless Bluetooth system. Sounds really good. We'll go ahead and X out of this. Go to our drop down menu here. Now the cool thing about the drop down menu is it lists all the sources that are actually available to you. When you're on the home page, it only it'll list everything and you got all this grayed out stuff. So you know, if you come here, this is what you actually have access to. So we'll go to Bluetooth Audio. So Bluetooth Audio will go ahead and tell you the song you're listening to, the artist, the CD it's on, genre. You can come over here and click this icon. It's going to ask you to tell you what device you're listening to. You can select your playlist, scroll up, come here. You can scroll, listen to a, pick a song. I'll go ahead and start playing that song for you. As we alluded to, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Yes. Let's get right to it. So if you plug in your lightning cable to USB 1, and then plug that into your iPhone, boom, you'll get Apple CarPlay. Apple CarPlay gives you the ability to make phone calls, listen to your music, use the navigation system built into your phone, respond or place messages, listen to your favorite uh, music source such as iHeartRadio, Audible Books, NPR, Pandora, Spotify, TuneIn, just by simply touching the icon. So for example, if you go to music, it's going to go ahead and give you your playlists. They're all right here. So these are the same icons that are on your phone are just going to appear here. Now if you're not using, if you don't have any music on your phone, you can come over here, go to whatever it is you use. So for example, if you use Pandora, go ahead and click on Pandora. It's going to go ahead and launch that, and pull up all your playlists or stations as they call them. Scroll through here, pick the one you want to listen to. I'm just going to go ahead and start playing. Now if you want to just have the map up, you can do that as well. Go ahead and click on the map. Now from here if you want it to find some place for you, you can go ahead and Find me a checkers. Checking. One possibility is checkers, which averages two and a half stars. Now you can click on one of those and it'll go ahead and take you to there. If you want to make a message or you just go ahead and click on your messages. Here on red messages or create a new one. So this is a really nice hands-free solution for you that just comes right with your phone and the 4200 will do. Now, you can just grab your Android phone and if you have it plugged into USB 2, go ahead and plug in your Android phone. And Android Auto will appear. Now Android Auto works very similar to Apple CarPlay. They are competing platforms. Their, micro their talkie button is over here on the opposite side. So if you go ahead and press this, Find me a checkers. Showing results for find me a checkers. Thank you. So you can use, it has your phone and your contacts. This will take you home back to your main menu where it's going to show you your tiles with things like weather, previous destinations, 
uh, maybe a phone call you've gotten. If you come over here to the headphones, it's going to go ahead and play whatever music source you have. So for example, uh, this phone has iHeartRadio, has Pandora, and it has Spotify. So if you click, click on Pandora, it'll go ahead and start playing Pandora. You can thumbs up, thumbs down, press play. Tap over here. It's going to return you to the Pioneer OS. If you want to get back to it, whatever phone service you have will be located right here. So you can tap back to it. Now you can there again ask her all the same things. So you can say call this person, send this person a text message, or any other question you want to ask her. You'd be surprised at the things she'll answer. Now gadgets and gizmos and buttons and things that flash are really cool, right? Yes, it is. But it's no good if they don't sound good. Okay, the 4200 NEX has the NEX EQ pack built into it, which is awesome sounding. So it has six channel four volt preamp output, mm -hmm. which is great. Yeah. Great for an amplifier. It has 50 watts by four of internal power if you feel like you need to use that. But the EQ, well, let's just talk about it. So to get to the EQ, we're gonna go ahead and go back to the main menu. Go ahead and click gears. Come down here to the radiating speaker. The first thing that pops up is your EQ. You can go ahead and tap your EQ. You have five presets and two custom. Now, if you want, when you're on the main menu, let's go here, radio. You'll notice it says EQ right here. If you tap that, you can go in and adjust the EQ and X back out without having to go through all the settings. It's like a fast key. You have your balance and fader. You have mute level. This is for um, when the phone rings. You have source level. Source level is really helpful. For source level, we'll go ahead and we'll click on Pandora. Now, if you have a phone, oh, damn it. we'll go over here and we'll click on USB 2. So let's say this phone isn't really doesn't have a really hot output, meaning the the volume coming out of the phone isn't all that loud when compared to like let's say FM or auxiliary for that matter. So we'll come over here and we'll click source level adjust. What this is going to allow us to do is turn up the volume sensitivity on that source. So now I know some of the Android phones that have really low output for whatever reason. This will allow you to gain that up so that that you don't have to turn your amps up or whatever. It's a really nice feature. Oh, let's go back. Next up is rear speaker on and off. The reason why it has rear speaker on and off is this radio has dual zone. So if your little kitties are in the back watching a movie, you can go ahead and turn the rear speakers off so that they don't have to listen to what you're listening to. You also have subwoofer on and off for that same exact reason. You have speaker level. Balance and fader balances the front to the rear. Speaker level allows you to control each speaker independently. The reason why that's helpful is you come down to the next feature, which is listening position. From here, you can pick a listening position in the car. Once you've done that, you come back out and you go to time alignment. Now what it's done is it's gone ahead and guesstimated where you're sitting in conjunction or relatively to your speaker. So you can adjust this if you'd like by simply measuring between your head and the speaker and getting that distance and inputting it. Once you've done that, you come back to speaker level. And now if you notice, they've added volume decreases to them. You can use this volume to increase or decrease to help you create a nice center image. It's very, very cool. If you scroll all the way to the bottom down here, you notice you have auto EQ and EQ measured, not measured. These are for a add-on microphone that Pioneer makes. I'll put a link in the show notes. And what it does is you turn the unit off, hit open, and right down here you'll notice this distance. This is where the microphone plugs in. Now this microphone will go ahead and set up all the time delays and phase and all that fun stuff for you automatically. All right guys, that brings this one to an end. Uh, if we talked about something or went too fast over a certain feature, have no fear. We have a playlist that's the 2016 NEX. We go ahead and we dive deep into each feature that we could possibly think of and made its own video of it. Right. Uh, so check those out. If we still don't answer your questions, please feel free to leave them down below and we will get back to you. If you liked our video, please subscribe. Otherwise, 
Thank you for watching. You guys can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And as usual, you guys, have a great night. We will see you later next time. Bye.